All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another second or our second episode of the Broken Ghost Quest. So today we're doing the Hunt a Legend Falls. This is number two. Um, as you can probably tell, I look very tired. It is very early. Uh, so I'm going to quickly do this and then get it all edited and uploaded for you guys. And let me know in the comments if you're still liking these videos. Uh, make sure if you're on Facebook, you go over to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe, hit the like over there if you can. It really helps out. And yeah, let's do it. See how we go. I really wish you could play Loba, but obviously because the quest is about Loba and Revenant, you don't get to, but that's alright. So I want everyone to let me know what you thought of this quest, if you've done it already. Let me know if you think they're too easy, they're too hard, they're long, they're too long, they're too short. I thought the first one was quite short and quite easy, um, but I did that with a partner. So we'll see how we go solo today, and hopefully it's a bit more difficult. I can go low, but today. Only the best for my friends. See how. Okay, that's weird. You could not go low, but you see. Can't play Bangalore, Watson, Crypto, or Revenant. So they must be the ones that are going to be in the, in the story today. I really wish they had voice acting, and I'm hoping next season with their quest that they do have uh, the voice acting just to immerse yourself a bit more. Let him fall. Clear out hostiles from a safe distance. Place scrolling with hostiles. You need to thin the herd before advancing towards objective. Okay. Alright, we're at the cave, isn't it? Gotta eliminate four hostiles, eh? Alright, eyes peeled. I've got a piece to find. Snipe some of these monsters before heading. Oh, hey, this is actually quite cool, this bit. <laughs> I'm not good with the triple take, man. This is why you guys never see me pick this up with, especially the choke. Ever. Definitely not with a sight as well, that's for sure. Oh, come on, that was bullshit. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, okay. Holy shit, this is actually quite cool when you're playing solo, man. It's a bit fucking scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Okay, this is actually really scary. Just saying. I tell you what, I think Lifeline is the, the, the best probably played character you could use for this. Obviously, she's got heal drone, blast heal, and things like that, so. Recharging my shield. Holy shit, I'm dead. Holy fuck, man, this is actually really hard by yourself. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa! Holy shit, man, this thing is fucking hard solo. Dude, we had no problem doing this with two of us. I'm actually wondering how I'm meant to get this res off by myself. Okay, this is much more enjoyable than, um...
than the first one that we did. This is already more enjoyable. I don't know if it's because I'm playing solo and it's actually a bit more challenging, but... Whoa! Peacekeeper, baby. Peacekeeper and ever. Let's go. Oh, these doors are finally open. Alright, activate panel. Okay, I guess you have to look at it. You can't turn around. Oh yeah. Right. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, open panel left, check your HUD. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet. So that's down the other door. So I've been wondering what these doors are gonna be for, man. So obviously... Oh, there's a depo in there. Oh, it's a Spitfire, I think, actually. Actually, might take the Spitfire. Just because it's obviously got a lot more, lot more rounds. And we got the PC, obviously. I'm too lazy. Oh shit. Oh shit, man! How am I meant to even deploy this? Okay, so the difficulty is definitely fucking at least three times harder by yourself. It's actually much more enjoyable, so I recommend you do do it by yourself. Good fun. I'm actually super impressed with the uh, PBE mode so far. Holy shit, holy fuck! Seconds. Time to disappear. Jump drive. Holy shit, we're actually pushing it for time on this one. Oh my god, we have 40 seconds left. Dude, that's actually hectic. Oh my god. I can't believe we went down. At least you respawn pretty quickly. Oh my god. Let's see what we got, actually. I always forget that you get a charm and things like that. Obviously, I will leave the story, the text story for you guys to, to run through. Uh, I really wish there was voice acting. It's really hard for me to get immersed into the storyline and try and like try and really be immersed. Occupational hub. Um, physical and logical connection center for entire assembly. Delivered constant condition power to cores. Pass through channel for a direct data between cores and an encryption sub, but no tap for the hub itself. Uh, holds motor sub processing. Likely interfaced and translated between host structure for locomotion. There's more. I oh, know that's it. What do we get for the charm? I don't. <coughs> I don't like these charms. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of them. I thought last week I was, but I'm just not a big fan of the the di like the big diamond. I just don't like it. All right. I'm gonna just skip through this. Awesome. Okay. So what's our next one called? Enter the Revenants. 
Ooh, that means I have a feeling that that is going to have something to do with multiple revenants. So obviously, like Shadowfall mode. Maybe it's going to be something like that. And we all know that during the trailer, you could see multiple of revenants' bodies. So I think it'll have something to do with that. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to go edit this, upload it for you. Make sure you like the video. Comment below if you liked it. Uh, if you found that as difficult as I did, I actually found that quite hard. Not 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 too hard, but way more difficult than when I was playing with it with just one other person. So let me know how you went. Make sure you go over to the YouTube channel, drop a like, drop a sub if you can. It really helps out. And yeah, I will see you tonight for our standard stream, and we'll get some dubs. Peace out, guys.